Now it's good to have your Bible so you can follow along with the scriptures as we go over the word of God. You look back at Revelation chapter 4 verse 1. In this I look, and behold a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up here, or come up here, and I will show thee things which must be here after. Read it again after this, after what? After 1, 2, and 3, after the church age. Jesus Christ is dealing with the church age right now. You have lukewarm Christians, and you have those Christians that are on fire for Jesus Christ. And you have a lot of counterfeit churches. You have so many denominations, non-denomination coming in the name of Jesus or they claim to be Christians, but they are not. And that's why this era is called the church age, which is one, two, and three. You can see it's dealing with the churches. You have to study one, two, and three and see what Jesus Christ is saying. But after Revelation verse, Revelation chapter four says, after this, I look and behold a door was open in heaven. So we can see that the rapture is going to take place before the great tribulation, before the rapture of God. The rapture of God and the great tribulation is all together. It's going to be cut short because Jesus said it's never going to be another time like that. It's going to be that horrible and painful and much suffering. Multitudes of innocent people are going to die. Christians, the tribulation saints, the majority or many of them is going to have their heads beheaded. So Revelation chapter 4, after this, I look and behold a door was open in heaven. And you go back to Revelation chapter 1, Revelation chapter 1 verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified that by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that read, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. This revelation of Jesus Christ was given to John, and John wrote down the things that he saw now back to revelation chapter 4 verse 2 and, and immediately i was in the spirit and behold a throne was set in heaven now we know that heaven god's throne is heaven and also there's a throne set in heaven and this is talking about the seat where god sit on the throne that god sit on and we know that Jesus Christ is God's son. Is God the son. He sits on the right hand side of the father. He that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. This is talking about verse 3 is talking about God the father. And there was a rainbow round about the throne and sight like unto an emerald. So this rainbow round about the throne of the father is in sight like unto an emerald. This rainbow appears to not look exactly like the rainbow we see on earth. This is a whole total different type of rainbow around Almighty God, the Father. You can imagine when you see the Father in heaven. Imagine the power, the supernatural power, the glory, and the splendor, and the majesty when you see Jesus Christ and the Father in heaven. 